scratch myself so hard a bit of skin come off. Welcome Whoa. to Regular Features, the show that's all about scratching a bit of skin so hard that your skin might actually come off. And bot flies. Oh. I've got bot flies in my not flies. What is a bot fly? Oh, it's just... Oh, my God. A fly on your bottom? You've never Googled bot flies. I don't want to do it. Oh, my God. You're going to have an amazing day tomorrow. Uh, really? Google on YouTube bot fly extraction. Yes. No. It's amazing. You have to cover yourself with a little bit of duct tape so that they suffocate and come up for air. And then you get them out with a bit of tweezers, and they are like, I don't know, golf balls. It's wicked. Oh, man. It's, I mean, it's really gross. I don't like the sound of that one fucking bit. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty gross, but fun. Key change. Huh. I'm going to talk about this, all right? Because I don't like this. It's like, what would you like if I started doing Welcome to the Spider Cast, Gav Murphy? Yeah. Here's just now, I'm just going to show you pictures of spiders. Yeah. Let's have a live See? reaction feed of that woman squeezing yeah. about three pints of puss out of a man's back. Oh. No, no, let's not. Let's not. Let's do it. It's something adorable happened <laughs> to me. You squeeze. <laughs> let's do it. Something adorable happened to me this morning. Uh, my other half started singing uh, the regular features theme tune that we use for the live show which we don't yeah. use anymore obviously but we used to use all the time every episode yeah. all the time she started singing that to me um, but it's really funny because she clearly heard it enough to know a bit of it but mm. not enough to actually know it and every time I kept saying that's not quite right and every time she sang it in exactly the same way but wrong awesome and I couldn't get her to recreate it on the microphone but I will recreate it for you now if you'd like for your pleasure do okay. please you go Regular, regular, regular features. Regular, regular features. Regular, regular, regular features. Regular features. <laughs> That's um, well, she should that is quite in, nice. She should come in and record that as a new jingle. I right think now. she should, but she won't go near microphones. I like the idea of someone doing a remix of it, if any clever people are out there. What remix or of just, what I just did there? Don't yeah, do that. Yeah. Don't do that. It was rubbish. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we should think up some new words just to make it work as a joke again. Yeah, we will do. We yeah. will. We will. One day soon. On live show soon. You're going to sit and down hey, to a newish jingle. Thanks for people who've been coming to live shows as well. Yeah, we're doing them now. Really we've good. done like four of them, five of them. Loads. Well, I mean, in the place. We've done like, I don't know, we've probably done ten live shows in the, yeah. the history of the podcast, which is frankly crazy. It's becoming a real nice, regular see you again next month community. Yeah. With, with a couple of new people that come every month who are all always invariably nice and they also like I've noticed like there are regulars that come which is really good but then new people come and then they get introduced to the regulars and then they also become regulars so that the regular group is bigger throw yourself into the regular features snowball and we've had lots of people who've come along and they've never even heard the podcast before and they've had a good time yeah which I think is unbelievable I genuinely don't believe that Um, I think they're lying to my fucking face also the last twice there's been like two like stunningly beautiful couples come along caught me picking up a penny off the floor and she looked me in the eyes as I did it um, and I, then I was like well I can't talk to you now so did she offer to up her Patreon at all <laughs> <laughs> well no I pick up I pick up every monies that I see I always pick up money wow but what no if I see any coins I'll pick them up I dropped a two pound coin and a one pence today and I pointedly only picked up the two pound coin even though it would have been easy to pick up the penny and you didn't and I was going if I was wait, I was going through the conversation in my mind is if someone had said oh you missed your penny I was going to say you can have that <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep the change you filthy animal <laughs> oh. oh yeah I, I pick up money all the time but it is embarrassing when someone's paid money to come see a live show that you've done and you're and picking up pennies they, off the floor they just see you pick well up it means you know it lets people know you know we really do appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah you should come along they're really good fun anyway this week's episode a long dong a ding dong a long dong dong that's a, that's nice. That's good. Where'd you get those syllables from? Um, the word long. The and shit part of your brain. And dong. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, I'm bullying you. I'm not bullying you. I'm putting a reassuring hand on your shoulder. While bullying me. That's, yeah. that's your game. I'm fucking, yeah, I'm squeezing you hard. It looks comforting to everyone else, but you know I'm hurting you. Get your hands off me, I'm doing a feature. <laughs> if you don't love regular features. No, I don't. We're not throwing regular features into a single syllable. It was earlier this week, a big event going on. I know we've had some heavy stuff and I know I keep I keep starting off podcasts oh who's dead things. now oh, I know yeah, good fuck. I know guys I just think it's really had an impact on me this week yeah. and um, it's it was because it was pancake day Yay. oh pancakes are Aren't they? Yeah, uh, right, yeah. So you just made us some pancakes. People are yes. tweeting about that. <laughs> it's pancake day right yeah, pancake now. Jokes. When we recorded, we had some pancakes literally before we recorded this. They were lovely. Um, they were pretty good. We have to pretend we didn't have those pancakes. Okay. Because um, part of this is going to be you winning the right to eat pancakes. 
that you've technically already eaten. So yeah, just pretend. It's like yeah. an episode Ooh. of Columbo. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, guys. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> the show starts with me and Gav stuffing yeah. our faces. <laughs> how did they get them? <laughs> how could they have got, got these pancakes? Just one more thing. Columbo got to say, who oh, in the pancake? <laughs> <laughs> Please do all mm. the quiz in that. <laughs> well, I got a Columbo pancake quiz. Okay. <laughs> Now, who wants to have a pancake quiz? Me. Who wants to have a pancake quiz? It's a pancake quiz. Me, Columbo. Uh, ooh. <laughs> are, you, are you Columbo now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> who not Columbo here? Who the Columbo here? <laughs> I'm a Columbo pancake Columbo. I'm a pity the fool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's that? That's not Columbo. That's, that's a... That's a he, was, he was the Columbo of the A-team. Okay. Sorry, Columbo. Okay, it's fine. Question number one for one pancake. What do you like on your pancake? Pancake. Hey. Oh, a lovely bit of lamb. And I can't do that. I can't. Lamb. I can't do this anymore. I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, lamb. It's man. good though. What do you like on your pancake? Yeah. Fenugreek. This is for this is for Gav. Okay. This is for Gav. A. Ooh, a bit of lemon and sugar. That's classic. Yeah. B. I'm naughty. Nutella for me, please. I know it's naughty to just have Nutella. I know it is. But just keep on pouring more Nutella in. Don't stop. Gosh, this is naughty. I'm a naughty, naughty man. C. Just a wee pinch of salt, please. Like a true old Scot. Or D. (laughs) Can I have some fruit in it? So what do you like on your pancakes? Is it A, lemon sugar, Nutella? Uh, I am naughty. A naughty, naughty man, Mr. Colombo. But what's it gonna be? Who's <laughs> I... oh, behind Chris Tarrant? Keeps popping up over his shoulder. Chris <laughs> asked the question, and then I'll come to make sure that I get the right man. I like secret option number five, which is just I like to have my pancakes handed to me all folded up, so I don't know what's inside them, and have a little surprise. Oh, I... could be spiders eggs, could be blueberries. That's Who the correct. Knows? That's the correct answer. Da, 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 da. Do not like surprise tastes. <laughs> Don't you? No. I, I, I hate that moment where your tongue's just doing all the work. Oh, it's the, a pancake the one. one. <laughs> question number two. <laughs> do, 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 was this for Log? This is for Log. That was an easy question. So you, you, it's like, it's like um, you secured yourself a pancake. Excellent. But you've got you to keep going Are we up. working together? I keep going up. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, is this co-op pancake? Yeah, yeah. it is co-op. It's co-op, co-op pancake. <laughs> what percentage of your recommended daily allowance of potassium... Is in the average pancake. Is it A, 4%? Is it B, 3%? Ooh, is it went C, down. it's a pancake, not a banana, you prick? Or D, what is potassium? Is it a place where you display potatoes? I would have gone for more focusing on the ass in a place where you <laughs> shove pot plants into your ass. Well, we're different people. That's we're different people. You, um, well, nah. pot ass. <laughs> pot Just saying it. The it, pot calling the ass black. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but it's funny. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go for one of the percents. Which one are you going to go because for? Because I think you've probably looked up. And I'm going to go for the second one because I thought... Because you went down. Mm-hmm. I'm, go, I'm trying to game it out. I'm trying to game it, yeah. Really things go up. Gaming the quizzes is very regular feature, isn't it? Even when they're actual quizzes. It means if we, if we ever actually do a real quiz, people are going to be like losing their minds with like conspiracy theories. So you're going to go for the second 3%. one? 3%. 3%. It is 3%. I yeah. gamed the fuck out of your stupid quiz. You've, you've, you've secured two pancakes. Would you have given it to me if I'd have said, what the fuck is potassium? No. Oh, Ooh, you bastard. Difference, difference here, right? Oh, okay. cheeky little bastard. Someone's baked a can of harsh trake. I thought, I thought <laughs> for <laughs> once, cake. I thought for once, I'd actually do a quiz All right. with real answers. This is real. What? This is real. Okay. This is real life. So, you're going to go on for three pancakes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question? Oh, pancakes go up exponentially in this quiz. All right, five. Five we'll pancakes. We'll never get a million pancakes if it goes up <laughs> one by one. All right, we'll go up to five. Hundred. Five. No, not hundred yet. Okay. All right, a hundred. At okay. what point can we rest easy knowing that we'll be going home with at least some pancakes? So you get to 10,000, I think. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're a hundred pancakes. Oh, boy, now, boy, right? boy, <laughs> that's a lot of pancakes. <laughs> Galvin. Hello. When people search on Google mm. for pancakes, Pancakes. What are the other top three results that people people might be searching for related to that? Is it A, maple syrup, omelette and cake? Is it B, egg, flour, pancake mix, egg insurance, how to bury, how to bury an egg, how to marry an egg? Both those how things. How I met your egg. How I met an egg. <laughs> how to lay an egg. Oh, that's naughty. C, sexy girls, 
sexy schoolgirls, sexy young girls, girls, or D, crap, waffle, egg. What do you reckon? <sighs> crap off leg. Crap off leg is the correct answer. You've won a hundred pancakes. Ooh, right. boy. Oh. Crab waffle egg sounds like it could it be the, someone's good. name. Next up, Mrs. Crab waffle from Simpsons. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> <This is> crab waffle. <laughs> Some more true facts for you. This is for Eggna Crawford. Eggna Crawford. We've done it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> You just worked it out. The Simpsons. You just cracked the Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> Crack like egg, like egg in a crab waffle. <laughs> this is amazing. This is wow. changed your Steve's world. gonna be good. This is the best podcast I've ever fucking done. <laughs> this is for ten thousand pancakes. All right. You're actually doing really well. You've got like all of these right so far. I'm impressed. Oxford University suggests pancakes were probably the earliest and most widespread cereal food eaten in prehistoric societies. That was a paper written by somebody whose second name was Feast, which made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, funny, isn't it? I remember doing these things. What might you find eating dinosaurs for breakfast? This is what, what might eat dinosaurs for breakfast out of these four things. Okay. Is it either A... I forgot it was multiple choice for a second. Huh? Man-sized sentient pancakes. Would you find them eating, eating dinosaurs? No, you just must blankets. Do you find B, God, with his big God teeth... Eating dinosaurs. You might have done Put that. Put that in the maybe pile. <laughs> C, giant fucking badgers the size of big dogs. Mm. Or D, oh. cavemen who didn't eat enough pancakes for breakfast. So they thought they'd eat a little dinosaur as well. Well, I'm going to use my knowledge of Kids. badgers. <laughs> your love of dressing up whimsy, dressing up the correct thing as a whimsy so to distract me from the truth of badgerness. It is a badger. It is. Giant fucking badgers. Yeah. There were big prehistoric badgers the size of dogs. What? And they found a fossil of one which had a baby dinosaur where its stomach would be, so they were, like, going around eating fucking dinosaurs. It's amazing, though. It was a bit of a giveaway, that one, because actually three of the other things were basically not real. Well, I did make it sound like I was looking into your character as a person who would dress up whimsy as fact to distract me. But no, it was because the other three were basically fucking ridiculous. Yeah, they were. They were a bit ridiculous. I'm glad you didn't point that out. Try harder. Try harder. All right, Fine. (laughs) Fine. Here's a question for you, right? Every country around the world makes pancakes in their own special style, a yeah. unique twist on the classic recipe. But one country takes the absolute piss, cooking pancakes that aren't flat, they're actually orbs. It's Wales. Hot orbs of fried batter. It's not Wales. Who the fuck does this? Tell me, for 50,000 pancakes, who the fuck does this? That's so many pancakes. Is it A, it's Denmark, the pancake-tweaking fucks? <laughs> Is it B, it's Finland? Fuck those Finnish fucking fucks. Where's their fucking respect? C, I bet it's the Netherlands, isn't it? I just bet it is. Or D, I don't think this is a real thing. I think you're just pulling my pancake. Oh, no. I just put that option in. But how big are the orbs? <laughs> yeah, that's this, this is a really bad... Uh, yeah. About the size of, like, a small, of the question. A, a small tennis ball. Oh. Like, a bit smaller than a tennis ball. There aren't really different sizes of tennis ball. That's what <laughs> <laughs> like a small tennis ball. You know, ball. Like not a big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get those ones that are the same size as footballs. Yeah, but they're not legal use. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never catch Federer with one of them. Um, I... I would like to say the Netherlands. I have got no clue. There's three similar countries and no, uh, none of the countries. Oh, we 50,000 pancakes, guys. Come what on, it's happens big, big if pancakes. I get this wrong? Uh, um, I don't know. I think we should just play it safe and take it and go home. <laughs> <laughs> End the podcast right here. <laughs> While it's safe. Uh, I've had a lovely time. Uh, <laughs> There's only one more question after this, so don't you, might, you can take this it. Is, this is for charity, so uh, I don't want to be greedy it. and lose everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, well, you wouldn't have made it up, because why? I think it is the Netherlands. <laughs> or, a hey. an, or a different answer. Oh, no, he got the man got it wrong. Uh, it is Finland. Motherfucking fucking Finnish Bastards. They bake them in like spherical cake tins and they knock them around with like um, knitting needles to make them round. Idiots. Fat. They knock them around with knitting needles to make them round? Yeah. Bullshit. I Can think it's Finland. The problem is, right, I mm. can't remember if Finland was actually the right answer or not. I think it is, but... Uh, Ooh, it's a really weird deja vu then. So um, I will... I'll do the, what they do in the Who Wants to 
be a millionaire TV show, when all or nothing. If Chris Tarrant isn't sure if the answer's right or not because they can't remember, they write it down. One. Just go on to the next question and pretend it didn't happen. Go on to the next question. All Final or nothing. Question. One million. This is for pancakes. one bil- million of the big ones, oh, big pancakes, yeah. oh. the, the white crepes are like in France. Oh, oh, oh boy, I one can taste them ones. all. I, I know it's only like a bit of a lot. I really want to win this <laughs> <laughs> okay right the final question I, yeah. I'd rather pretend to be outraged when we lose okay yeah good so which we should get something out of this which of these <clears throat> is a made up pancake name right because there's lots of pancakes from all around the world there's so many varieties but one of these do you know what it is in Welsh is it something ridiculous creme pog a fuck off A <laughs> fuck off <laughs> A is creme pog yay because <laughs> <laughs> ideally when I thought Steve was going to be here tonight I was going to give you questions each and I was going to give that one to somebody who wasn't you because I thought you, you knew that but when I realised in Wales they call them creme pogs so yeah. I was like that sounds fucking stupid just call them pogs um, B Johnny Cakes C Dutch Puff <laughs> Oi Oi, Oi. God, stop looking at me. <laughs> or D, David Ayres Pancake. That second one has got you all over it. What? Johnny, what's it? No, that's Johnny, a real one. Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes is a real one. Yeah, but is it a real pancake, though? It's in Sopranos. And is it a pancake or is it a scone? Oof. Well, I don't think... I, I think you They didn't have us. scones in the Sopranos, did they? <laughs> I think they give it to... I think you give it to us if it was that. I don't... I don't it's so close... I'm pretty sure it's not quite a pancake, but it's a type of pancake. But I'm pretty sure that he wouldn't put that in there. Just to go, oh, no, it's it's actually thicker than a pancake. And if you do, fuck you, Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> that gets maybe the last one, then? No, it's got to be Dutch Puff. <laughs> no, I think Dutch Puff sounds convincing. Do you? <laughs> I want one. It's oh, well, hilarious. Maybe it's a biscuit, that is. It sounds more like a biscuit. Dutch Puff. <laughs> Isn't Dutch like? Isn't like I, I don't know about drugs. Isn't like pancake a big thing in drugs? Smoking a pancake. That yeah. What's that? I've no idea. It's just something that people say. Yeah. It came from something. Oh, I wait. don't know what it is. Don't. I don't know what it means. I don't particularly care. It's a Dutch puff. <laughs> okay, I'll go with Dutch puff. I'm not, but I won't. Be, uh, no, 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 I won't be held accountable for my actions when I pretend to be outraged when I lose. <laughs> I'm afraid to say I'm not the right answer. Oh. Fuck, fuck this world. I am going to undo the planet. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Log. I could have sworn Dutch Puff. I can't say it without... Of course, it Dutch Puff sound right. Unfortunately, just to lure you in after a legit quiz, it's, yeah. a, it's a fake one at the end. They are all real types. Of- are you no, I'm taking my top off. And we're going to do this noon <laughs> from now on. <laughs> yeah, they're all real. Creme Pog, Welsh. Yes. Uh, Johnny Cakes is an American thing. See? Also known as a hoe cake, which I thought was very very distasteful. Here's the Sopranos, and they like their holes. Dutch Puff is a variation on a Dutch baby pancake. That's and sad, David yeah. Ayres pancake, frankly, David. David Ayres was a, a writer or something who yeah. it, it, now it's a sweet pancake called David Ayres pancake, but basically he was following the recipe for a Dutch baby pancake and just did it a bit different. Yes. So I don't think you get your own fucking pancake, David. Oh, but it's on Wikipedia, Ed. so apparently you have got your own fucking pancake. Where's my fucking pancake on Wikipedia? That's my fucking question. Dutch puff. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, he is being a bit histrionic. Pretty much like a Dutch puff would. <laughs> Who wants to have a pancake? I think we just lost. We we just lost everything. That was my fault. So I'm going to need the pancakes you ate earlier back. (laughs) Like a bird sicker in his mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, let's end this picture with me and Gav vomiting on your lap. Can you just do it into that teapot? No. Lap. Lap. I did a feature and I liked it. I hope my boyfriend don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story about me on a play. Oh, the fucking this song. Is a <laughs> I can't get out of my what song. Be bad. Every sentence fits to it, though. Van Morrison, Jackie Wilson said. Oh, right. I listen to another podcast and they sing it on it all the time. Uh, but luckily, I don't think the people who listen to our podcast and that podcast are going to cross over. I always get Lady Red. And if they Red do, I'm somewhere. really sorry. Lady <laughs> Red is always my thing. Yeah. Da, 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 also, da, da, you can fit any words with that. Same as. Yeah. Sandwich in bed. 
The nice. crumbs <laughs> keep. That's not. I went to Danaki. The, there. It's got a bit minor. Oh, Danny Boy as well. The yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it was. It started, yeah, it was my, it started merging. I was on a plane, and as you know, I can't be trusted to do anything, let alone go on a plane. Uh, and I've had a story about things I've done on planes before, and this is a story about this time when I'm on a plane. But this I, is a recent story. Yeah, and I generally don't think this is my. How fault. do you keep getting into fucking I don't know, fights? I can't. People. Talk to I was standing next to a fucking cock last time I was on a plane, and nothing happened. I just yeah. thought this guy's a cock. I would have told him. I'd have done something. I'd have, I don't know. He just, just walked over because I was basically sitting in his his chair. Yeah. And uh, we were like, it was a three chair. We didn't, it was quite a flight. I thought no one's coming, so I just yeah. sat, had the space in between me and the guy I was flying with. And then he just came over and literally just pointed at me and went no. <gasps> and I was just like, oh sorry man, I was just but, but, but yeah. It was after that I was almost just like. I sort of just thought, oh, what a cock. But I was then yeah. just waiting for him to be a cock again at some point, so I could just say, sorry, mate, you know you're a cock. Well, like, I generally did make a like a little thing in my head. It was about three or four years ago when I was in the cinema and someone was being a dick, and I, and I didn't say anything. And then I thought about that for, like, a month afterwards, and I thought, do you know what? This isn't worth it. You, I'm making a pact with you right now, Gav Mind. I don't know. Um, that, <laughs> the Gav Mind, the Hive Mind, the Gav, the Gav mind. in the mirror. <laughs> I'm making a pact with you right now that any time that someone does something that annoys you, you're going to tell them because otherwise this happens. But I actually don't think this is my fault, but you can let me know if it is. It's funny anyway. that you always think that. No, I don't. No, I'm joking. Sometimes I think, <laughs> sometimes, a lot of the times I don't think it's my fault. <laughs> but sometimes I know that it's my fault. But this one... You do- very wildly between blaming yourself for things that you have no part in and also yeah. being blithe. That's because you never absolutely. know where I'm going to be coming. <laughs> Unpredictable. Sneaky drink. Right <laughs> yeah. So I walked onto the plane. I had managed to secure myself, cheeky little uh, exit seat. And there was a man and his wife putting their stuff into the overhead locker and he had his bag and his coat on my seat. I was on the outside. He was in the middle. She was by the window. Um, so I walked up and I said... And the guy looked at me and I went, oh, I'm, I'm in there. But don't worry, I'm not in any kind of rush. Like, you take your time. Um, and I said, I've been sitting down for ages. And I don't know why I said that. So You, you don't come across as weird at this point. <clears throat> no. At this point. And, but he kind of, <laughs> but he looked at me and I was like, oh, God, what's happened? Already. Perhaps he looked at you as I'd say, fucking looks like it. Oh, you fat, fat prick. <laughs> Red buttered fuck. Yeah. This is how this happened. <laughs> sitting down. Because it was like a nice flight. Um, they brought like a little snack trolley around but it was super early in the morning and the guy was like oh would you like a snack and even though I didn't want one you know when someone just has got something in front of you and you just go oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah I love that it's just something to yeah. do isn't it yeah exactly something to do um, so they off- They said to me would you like the sandwich which is a pulled pork sandwich I'm a massive fan of pulled pull pork Um or would you like... The, it's good when it's not on planes. Yeah, maybe. Or would you like this um, vegetarian uh, pesto pasta? And I was like, oh, that sounds nice. I'll have that. Does. Can I have the... And he's like, oh, it's the vegetarian option. I was like, oh, I'm not the vegetarian. So if I'm allowed to have it, that'll be lovely. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah we got... Lo-. Like, didn't say we got loads. That's a lie. Because yeah, uh, then, he, oh, yeah. then he then he goes, oh, it's the last one. And I was like, oh, good. So <laughs> the opposite of what I was about to say. I was going to say, that's <laughs> a big lie there, Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... So he's like, oh, yes, the last one. I was like, oh, good, fine. Good, good. Um, no more for anyone else. Um, <laughs> but we were, we were good. T- like, just the way I like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then the woman's like, oh, can I get the pesto pasta? And the guy and the guy on the trolley goes, oh, there's none left. And I said, oh, you can have mine. I didn't actually want it. Um, don't worry about it. Just have it. Uh, and she was like, oh, thank you very much. That was the end of that. Uh, because, so- but until the guy went, oh, can I get the pesto pasta? And the guy on the trolley went, oh, no, I've, like, you... I just um, kind of looked this, at him and it was an established fact of the conversation yeah. now sir <laughs> but there was a kind of like thing where he looked at him and he was just like yeah, you've just seen me give your wife the last one so you know there's none left but I was like okay whatever I'm not involved in this so it's fine and the guy was like oh well there should be more left and actually we're in the middle of the plane so really there probably should be more left but anyway so nothing happened with the food thing that just happened but as we landed we landed in London and I changed my phone back to London time from Swedish time. And this guy was looking in his phone and he had the same, he's like same iPhone as me. And he was just going in all the wrong places. And actually iPhone, you'd think you could just go into the clock bit, but actually you've got to go into settings general and change it there. So he was in the clock bit. And I knew exactly what he was doing unless he needed to set a bunch of alarms really quickly. And as I see what he was doing and I was like, all right, I'll sort of let it go. And then, 
I just went, oh, uh, do you want me to sh- like show you like how to do it? And I sort of touch his hand. He touched his hand. No, no, his hand. Oh, his hand. I just went like that and sort of like touched you the went top to of grab his phone, his phone <sighs> with your massive <laughs> tattooed fists. <laughs> You look like a criminal. <laughs> right. I said, oh, would you like me to show you how to change the time on your phone? And I went to grab the phone and I realised that I shouldn't have done that because that is kind of... A bit too far. Invasive. A bit too far, yeah. yeah. A tiny bit. Um, he went what can only be described as fucking mental. Ah, he was like, why is this my phone? Blah, blah, blah. Turning to his wife, is that trying to see my phone? He's trying to see my phone. I was like, I, I wasn't trying to see your phone. Like, we were landed. The stairs hadn't even come at this point. <laughs> yeah, so like, I was like, this is not where you're trying to see your phone. And I, I was thinking this in my head um, later. No, but no, of course, it's like, yeah, you don't. Like, it'd be like the idea of trying to nick someone's phone on the train like, after it's just pulled out of a station. It's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, like, then having a chase up and down the aisle. <laughs> yeah, like, you, don't, you categorically do not do that. So he was like, stop touching my, why are you touching my phone? I was like, I wasn't, I was just trying to, I, 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 and for honestly, I had nothing. I was so dis. Uh, he'd done me, and I was just like, I wasn't. I was just, I, I was just trying to. I, do you want me to show you? I, and his wife was like, Why are you touching my husband's phone? I was oh, like, way. I was like, I'm not. I gave you pasta. <laughs> yeah. I gave you fucking pasta. Thanks and you give me this. Thanks for chipping in, love. And I was like, Oh my god, this is. I hope that pesto congeals in your fucking veins. <laughs> but I was Kills like, it. And this is the point where you thank God you're by the exit because you jumped out of the plane. <laughs> like, they showed me how to use this exit earlier. Now I'm going to use it. Ta ra, arms crossed. <laughs> just like the picture. Um, so this is happening and he's like he's it's probably took about 15 seconds but then someone behind was like I think that man's trying to steal someone's phone and I was like what I, I heard this I was like I'm not trying to steal anyone's phone <laughs> um, just to the person but then people <laughs> were just looking I was like oh my god uh, what's gonna happen and I started like sweating and I was just really freaking out like yeah oh, I've, never, it's had, ridiculous, I've never had a panic attack but I, I think maybe I was having a panic attack because I was just like I just couldn't explain myself and I was just like I was just I, I, but then I couldn't my words couldn't come out either so I was just like do you know what wow I'm just gonna leave this so we stopped so what I did was I just took off my belt um and the lights were off, so it was fine. Took off my, it was just before, took my, took my belt off, got my bag, and then sort of just rushed down the plane. Um, just, just sort of stood, but obviously the fucking doors hadn't opened yet. So it was just, we were still waiting for the doors. And the woman was like, oh, can you take your seat, please? And I was like, oh, I can't, because I'm, I'm a phone stealer. Uh, <laughs> listen, and I've been fucking I've got, I've got a bad, I've got a bad reputation in that aisle. Sorry. Then, but, but then another stewardess came down, and she was just like, were you trying to take that man's phone? And I was like, oh, I swear to God, I wasn't. And like, probably close to tears at this point because I was just like yeah you would be I don't know what was going on everyone on that plane now but I was just like (laughs) the pilot comes down and says sir but I'm that's a big report. <laughs> the, yeah. It's like, sorry, we're going to have to go back into the air to take you to Alcatraz. <laughs> um, so I was just like, oh, shit. But, like, my last plane story, which is, like, me, like, just having my own weight, I was just like, I just had that in my head. I was like, this is karma for you kind of being a prick on the last flight uh, you're on. But I was just like... I was you, just, like I, you were just... And then that simple mistake of just yeah. being a bit too over-familiar for yeah. a second and... But that was it. But again, like you would just yeah. be like, well, she was a little bit over familiar with his pesto pasto. Yeah, she, she fucking ran that straight in her fucking mouth, which is a yeah. little bit less invasive than touching the bottom of a man's phone. I wonder if these people are now fucking like going around telling uh, about how this, this your, bearded, yeah. tattooed criminal like lured them into a false sense of security <laughs> by offering <laughs> them pasta. vegetarian pasta. We thought he was a nice guy, you know. He looked dangerous, but he gave us this free pasta. I wonder. And then after we did in the past, he was straight from our house to the valley. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. If you didn't, if you didn't have tattooed hands, but you just had a lovely, perfectly manicured lady's hand, <laughs> they'd be, they'd be reacting the same way. If I, I reckon, if I'd had like a little withered hand uh, and I tried to touch it like that, then they wouldn't have done it. They would just let me do whatever I wanted. With, <laughs> with really long fingernails with sort of green stains underneath bottom of the bottom. <laughs> Like something from a Guillermo del Toro film. <laughs> um, like eyes in it, <laughs> in the palm of my hand. Um, no, but I, I basically, I was like, I couldn't even explain to the other stewardess what was going on. So, But luckily the door opened then and I just walked off the plane. Everyone thinks I'm a phone stealer. So. Wow. Oh, I, want yeah. my, I need resolution. Did you find out? Can we find out their names? No. Can you can you write a letter to them saying, I just want to get in touch with the people who sat next to me on the plane because they... They had a phone they, and I wanted... They, 
for my collection. They, they changed my life. They were so kind. <laughs> they, they just showed me such kindness at a different point in my life. And I just wanted to extend my thank yous to them. Mm-hmm. And then say, get them dressed that way. And then say, I didn't fucking touch your phone. You and then you send should, them a shit in the post. You should do a viral on Twitter and Facebook. Get a picture of you holding a piece of paper saying, um, Not some a people I sat either. next to on the plane. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got the face that if someone looked at it, they would just go, that guy would steal a fucking phone off me. I do really like phones. <laughs> <laughs> Sit, sit, sit on my dick. Why don't you sit on my dick while I drink this coffee? The coffee's hot and the and dick is soft. Too. It's not hot enough to lift you aloft. <laughs> <laughs> sit on my cock while I drink this coffee. Suck my balls like they're made out of toffee. Yeah. Nice. Sit on my dick while I drink this coffee. Oh, you can't sit on someone's dick and then suck their suck balls. Suck my balls like they're made of toffee. Well, if you can actually suck your own dick, you could suck someone's balls whilst you're yeah. sitting on their dick. You'd have to have another person there. Yeah, you need three people. Two, it's logistically impossible. Just to drag their balls up to your mouth for you. Yeah, no, not, no. Yeah, I don't know if... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the person who's sitting on the dick and sucking the boys is having a good time. I think you've just got to be a bit more um, logistically... Maybe, okay, maybe your... just a, an implement transfers the suction from your mouth round to the balls. It's not really the same. Like a, like a, like a, a curved, pipe. You're, curved try, you're trying pipe. to soak, soak balls through a hose pipe. Yep. Teaching your grandmother to <laughs> soak balls through a hose pipe. <laughs> she, she taught me, Matt. <laughs> she taught you well. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I have won the Best Pub Sign in Britain Award. Ah. That's not, if you told me I was going to do that in three or four in Britain. Shut up. I thought yeah. it was just in not Eat it. Yeah, it includes all your Welsh pubs, Gav. I am the. I have won all oh, of them. Oh, Gav is livid. He's chomping at his no. bits. No, I'm Who happy with my thought? friend. I'm, I just can't believe it's Britain. That's amazing. Well, you were playing it down, you prick. I, that's why I thought it was like in the north or north of London or something like that. In. In Britain. Essentially the world. He's written the, wide. The best pub sign in like all of the ones in London. Shit. That's Lots. brilliant. It the was, best. It was awarded to me by the Insign Society. And like, what, what pub is this, Log? I don't think you've ever mentioned it on the podcast. Well, it's called the King Billy in Nottingham, and you can come there for fresh drinks poured from some of our taps. <laughs> We also so someone went bottles. To, someone went to us at the last uh, at the last live show. Oh, are you guys ever going to do any shows at the King Beer? I was like, yeah, we've done loads. And the guy was like, oh, I live in Nottingham. What's like, a colossal How did you not know? Dumb. Like, that's perfect for you. Regular features, Nottingham. It's everything you love. Yeah. <laughs> everything about you. Um, that's that's really good. Well, yeah. It honestly, yeah. It, I for one. I'm proud. Yeah. That's something I've commissioned. Something I'd Simon Chong's designed the original one. You know, Simon yeah. Chong who did yeah. the Dianicky video and all stuff like that. He's done, yeah. he's a fairly good friend of regular features. My tattoo. Yeah, did your tattoo. And um yeah, well I he did the original design, then I gave it to some other girl who's who changed it completely and that won the awards. Fuck you, Chong. <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not you're not the best in the world now, are you? <laughs> uh, boo, Simon. Yeah, but anyway, the insults <laughs> aside. <laughs> so you might have uh, some questions you want to ask about the Insign Society. Such in as sign. In sign. As in, like, if you think of in as another word for pub. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I wasn't thinking. It's not like, it's not like saying, N sign as in, like, yeah. the rank. I was thinking, like, in gen, like in Jurassic Park. <laughs> I was thinking, like, you were saying in design, not putting yeah. the D in. Okay, you're a computer nerd, you're a Jurassic Park <laughs> prick, and I like Star Trek. We, we've got our personalities sorted out from okay. the hearing it's things. literally it. <laughs> we've got our base. So, like, if you were to ask me, what is the in sign society... Why don't you? What's the insign well, society? The insign. Is it to do with dinosaur embryos? Is well, it? I'll, tell you, I'll tell you. It's an organisation with 300 members <clears throat> who drink half pints and tonic waters and sit around like they're about to die in your fucking pub. Did, they bring, did 300 of them come to your pub? No. Th- they awesome. have 300 members nationwide, which just goes to show how few votes you need to win a nation, a national pub sign award. Well, no, Surely sure, lots it, of them are in Nottingham then. No, I think they just vote. Oh, that's a nice well, where sign. Where do they get all the pictures from? I want from? to know how many people abstained. How, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do they get all of the... Well, the person, there were three people who got awards today. Me, yeah. for having the pub, the best pub in Nottingham, come to the King Billy. 
Sarah Kirby, the nice girl who did the design that took over from took took Chong's baton and spunks it off onto, <laughs> spunks it off onto a sign that goes <laughs> outside my bedroom window. And the third person was the guy who nominated, who seems like a nice bloke. Got nothing to wrong, nothing wrong. So it's just one he nomination. got an award. He got he got a fucking award for nominating us. Best nomination. It seems a bit corrupt to me. Oh, that, what? Certainly no more than 300. How is he getting an award? <laughs> How is he getting an award for nominating? For being a vibrant and active part of the Insign Society community, I suppose. What a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> that was. It came off the top so easily. <laughs> it's because he told you earlier, because yeah. you were like, what are you fucking getting an award Why for? Why did he get one? <laughs> Can I have two? I want two. I want two. <laughs> I want two. <laughs> Another question you might want to ask is, what is the demographic of the Insign Society? What, what is the demographic <laughs> of the Insign Society? <laughs> well, I mean, it's made up entirely of morbidly obese men who can maintain an uninterrupted stream of speech, regardless of whether the person they're talking to is facing them or has walked off <laughs> oh wow can I uh, make a little uh, prediction yeah you ain't gonna win this two years in a row <laughs> <laughs> and the third question you might like to ask about them is how much food can the Ensign Society eat how much food can the Ensign Society eat I can I make a prediction yeah, yeah. four baps each not baps, they're called fucking, what are they called? Cobs. Cobs. Cobby wobbies. Cobby wobbies. Cobby wobbies. Cobby wobbies. Cobby Cobby wobbies. Well, I don't know exactly, I can't quantify exactly how much, but I can say it costs more than they spent on drinks. Oh, <laughs> fucking. Oh, man. And they formed a <clears throat> They're amazing. You've never seen men form a, such a protective barrier around, a ta- around an a extendable table of buffet. Was it just men? Uh, no, there were some girls in there, but there was a one woman in the same way that there was They're one really woman into it, you know? in, <laughs> in the Cenobites from Hellraiser. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're allowed to say <laughs> that. Chat- one of them was sitting there chattering. Oh, no. I, I'm fascinated by this, mostly since I found out that it's Britain wide. But, mm. like, it would seem to me that if I was running the in-sign thing that that's just for them isn't it just an excuse to just get off their bonds in loads of different pubs no well, apparently they not they don't yeah. bloody drink a lot of them say they go around well, I think it's a great excuse for a pub crawl yeah but they of course there's not a word of it it's more important that they get a picture of the signs and because some pubs are too far apart one of them has to drive and it's basically like I said to you nerds, yeah. they're, they're more historians right. they're more pub historians who right, don't okay. drink so like I said to it's Matt like earlier they, it's, like they, yeah. it's like being a war historian and not killing anyone it's fucking they, pointless think, yeah. <laughs> because people always say to them oh what do you do oh we do this thing and they go oh yeah you just got a pub crawl and they just go no, no so they all don't drink just because it's actually like Brenda otherwise I think it's because they've all got medical complaints that stop them the first person <laughs> the first person <laughs> that that came, about you. we told her <laughs> <laughs> The first, yeah, the first person had a, had her mouth completely stitched shut. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she weren't having a cobby wobby. <laughs> One of the guys came in and just said, "Oh, twenty years ago, I'd have been right on that uh, beer there. Uh, half a lemonade, please." Just to- I love it. If he, I thought he was saying that to you. Oh, 20 years ago, no, I'd been right, right on that. that. I'd been the other side of that bar, and you'd been fucking. Your face would be in the drip tray. You'd be. Burbling protests. You'd be hanging from that sign. <laughs> that was 20 years ago. <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> I'd be lying on my back trying to beat you with my piss. <laughs> <laughs> that went from sexy to dark. So Man, the inside people are mad. <laughs> um, so what was it? Like, was there a, like a, I don't know, ceremony? Most, there was a, the, the main part of the ceremony was the handing over of these sort of three framed certificates. Wow. But they were handed over by the chairman of the Insign Society, who has one and a half arms. And I've never... He was about 70-odd years old. Mm-hmm. So, like, I didn't fancy him. <laughs> right. But there came a point where I was I looking was at his stump... I was trying to laugh for so long, then. <laughs> and thinking, I really like that stump. Mm. As I began to fetishise his appendage. Wow. I'm very sorry if you are disabled in terms of having a stump... I'm sorry, but I'm going to fetishise you, it turns out. <laughs> right. And it's not something I want to do. No, you just discovered you've got a slight fetish for... Well, it is. Well, just something, something that doesn't... It doesn't repulse me to the point where it actually attracts me. <laughs> there you go. Who knew? I didn't. So they hand you the sign? So they hand me the sign. Well, he tried... Oh, so the he, award. He, 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 well, he had the sign in his hand, but his little stump was poking around and it was like it was waving at me because it was kept twitching and it had a little scar on the end of it that looked like a urethra. It was impossible not to it imagine it like, like a prehensile it. dick <laughs> poking around from my award. I'm sure you would have heard it before if you said it. 
No, that's why I didn't say it. Oh, okay. And that's why I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, anyway, he handed me that, and um, I was yeah, I was I made sure to look equally from his stump to his face, so the sine wave of arousal just pitched, averaged out at zero. <laughs> so it was. <laughs> it's like the awful. The, it's, it's trying to do the thing of just not looking at tits. There's something a part of your brain sometimes. If somebody's got great tits, you just want to look at them, and you actually have to physically lock your gaze. You have to think about it. Otherwise, your brain, if you switch off, they just look. You have to physically lock up gaze. That's what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, are you having that? <laughs> I did, didn't I? I did just say that. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. What, what, it's not like we're in competition. What is it? Are you scared you'll make friends with us because we're not as threatening as you are? I should be, I should be locked away. I'm sorry, I've shown my true colours tonight. So Come what on. else did you win? Certificate? Certificate. A frame? Now tells. We've got, oh. we've got a bit of coverage in the local newspaper. I love it. It was a really lovely photo of you as well. Yeah, got a big broad face. What and I loved about that was we, the quotes from Locke in that brilliant. new story, because I just read them in Locke's voice. You yeah, actually yeah, managed to make it funny, which is good. Like, there was funnier lines in that than in some of your Eurogamer columns. <laughs> 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 that's a joke. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that was a joke. I thought, like, that's going to be a really nice backhanded comment. That it's a hot finger, that is. <laughs> Jesus. Too but it, you did actually manage to make, like, local, local news coverage of a sign. The quotes they'd use made it really funny. Amusing. Did you yeah, say it was live as well? Or did you get to write them down? No, that was spoken over the phone. I, I, I declined an interview with radio, BBC Radio Nottingham. No, you did not. Why? We could have put that on here. Because fucked if I'm talking live on the radio. What? What are you doing right now? Live? Yeah, we this, is, live this, is, this whole show is fucking predicated on the fact I, I'm allowed and possibly encouraged to say unacceptable things. Well, you just said I a am not unacceptable thing about the guy who gave you a certificate. Yes, exactly. I'm not... Oh, right, to, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not arguing <laughs> with me, Gav. <laughs> Gav, argue and then go, no, hang on. Yeah. I'm the same thing as you. This is exactly <laughs> what back, he's talking about. about. <laughs> I'd like yeah. to think you make all that you made all that thing up with that, that guy's arm just so you could prove a point. No, I was maybe overstating my preoccupation with it. I, I probably wasn't. It was more that it looked a bit like a weird aroused bobbly penis. Can we get you on the, on BBC Not? I'm talking about your pub sign. It's too late now. You don't. After you, well, you turn them down once, Nottingham will not have your back, mate. <laughs> well, some bloke from Nottingham Notorious- did come into my pub later with a dictaphone, <gasps> so I just spoke into that. That so that seemed fine because I could look at his face. For approval and stop talking if he started wincing or going. Yeah. Give me that memory card. Oof. I know how it yeah. works. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed. You have, no, you have no permission. I used to be in the media, you prick. Give me that. I didn't sign an NDA. You can't use that. Yeah, nice. Got him by the balls. <laughs> Got him by the short <laughs> curlies, mate. <laughs> this is brilliant. Like, you won an award that could have been won by any pub in Britain. Yeah. That's I, pretty well, fucking Way cool. to downplay it, Gav. It could only have been won by his. Yes, yeah, his is the only, best. His, only my pub has the best. And I do Jesus. like the fact we've won a, a, an award. A, a, my pub has won an award that in no way implies that the pub is any good at all. <laughs> <laughs> just the outside of it is brilliant. Outside. Not even the outside. Just a <laughs> tiny part of the outside, which is really hard to difficult without showing how badly painted the pub is. <laughs> do you know what you need to do? You have to really, really go over the top with how much you mention this award. Like, award-winning pub, the King Billy. Well, that's the thing. Like, every other fucking pub in... Not yeah. Yet. Well, there's a certain chain called Castle Rock. They're, they are PR experts. I instinctively hate them because they're so well-run and okay. so, like... They're such a publicity-gathering machine. But everyone I know who works on them is fucking brilliant. They're all lovely people. Yeah. But I've got that rankles thing. Like, how... how we do that. Award winning. Award winning pub. Award winning pub. Just rush. That's, the, that's facts. Yeah, you just go there. There's the award. Do you want a drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you want to come and look at the award? Do you want a tour of the award? <laughs> be like, it's not for the booze or those cobby wobbies, just so you know. It's for that sign that you probably didn't see on the way in. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to stop saying cobby wobbies. Cobby yeah. wobbies. Log saying cobby wobbies is like cobby. horror movie shit. Cobby, cobby wobbies. It's like there's a proper, like, there is a. a <laughs> if you don't like that, you're not going to like Hollywood horror film the guy, waiting to happen. The guy who said cobby wobbies. Um, has started coming in again recently. Yay. So uh, he's, he's had a, a bath. No, well, he had a bath. <laughs> nope. But <laughs> he doesn't seem to. Baths expire and he's not aware of that yet. He better fucking have a bath if he wants to keep drinking in an award winning pub. Yeah, but he's. Um, the latest thing was like on Thursday of last week, he said, I'll come in early on Saturday and we can look at your computer and you can. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can. There's a, there's a copy of French Playboy I'd like you to have a look at. I love him. I said, Absolutely I said, love him. I said, I'm not comfortable buying you soft core pornography. <laughs> Obviously, leaving it open to ask for hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> but he says, I understand. I'll ask you on Saturday when there's no one around. <laughs> oh, God! I 
fucking love this guy. Can you can you, can you get addicted to you? He has him? those yellowed fingernails. I don't want to assist him in putting them anywhere near his dick. He might cut himself. No, you don't have to touch his dick. No, I'm giving him things that will make him want to touch himself. Sometimes, Gav, uh, you've got to protect right. people from their own dick. <laughs> I think I've met this guy maybe a long time ago. Mm. He was a regular. I think he might be there one day. I thought you were going to say not in the pub. I think, I think yeah. Um, we went uh, on a date. I, I met him when I was like four and then uh, my uncle started burning his house down. No. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, Please. copy Robbie's copy. Thank you for listening to episode something of Regular Features. If you like this, you can go to www.patreon.com forward slash regular features and give us some money for it so Log can spend on more elaborate signs for his pub because obviously that money worked really well. Yeah, you might consider supporting us if we spend it on train tickets and booze. Yeah. And that which helps keep the podcast going. Yeah. We're going to be releasing more live dates this week so if you're a Patreon, check your emails maybe around now if you're listening to this on Thursday because you're going to get the link first if they sell out. They sell out. Also, so. if you do want to buy a t-shirt as well, oh, yeah. go to regularfeatures.bigcartel or something yep, the other way around. Com. Uh, but also, if you are going to go to a live show, then the best way to do it is just come to a live show, buy a ticket, and then just send us uh, some money on PayPal to regularfeaturespodcast at gmail.com. That's right. And uh, we should probably put this detail somewhere on the site as well yeah. if you forget to do that. But yeah, you just send us a tenner on, uh, on PayPal. And we'll bring you on and get yeah. it to you in your hand. It's and you'll hear jumper. your name shouted out on the podcast. Yeah, and you actually get them chucked out and everything. It's good. Mm. I love it. Thank you very much for listening. We'll be back next week. See ya. Bye. Ta-ta-ta.